mentioned in my other video, right? I have a link somewhere I'm trying to figure out as to where. And I appreciate everyone's suggestions as far as, you know, check this or check that. So here is what I'm doing as far as for this first part of this series uh, that I'm going to take you along for the ride. Now, I already showed you uh, as far as replacing the boost solenoids, aka the pressure converters. I uh, wanted to replace those being originals. If you haven't checked out that DIY, very simple, but if you need to replace yours, whether uh, you know they're hissing or you know, you've checked everything else and you haven't replaced those yet, give those a look. Definitely check the DIY out at the top. The first part of this diagnosing series of the boost leak, we are going to be doing all of the vacuum lines. Now, I've already replaced the vacuum lines over on the diverter valve side. So, of course, I have forged motorsport diverter valves, you know, 15 to 23 PSI internal springs, so no issues there as far as holding that PSI. So, what I am replacing is I'm replacing the vacuum pump hose, so it runs from the bottom of the vacuum pump, which is underneath the intake manifold, all the way up. I'm doing the lines all the way across the valve cover. So, you know, since I did replace the valve cover and I have that DIY, if you need to replace your N54 valve cover, I have the complete full tutorial DIY. Post that up here at the top so you can check that out as well too. Uh, you know, I did have to remove those. I don't want to discredit as far as, uh, you know, those being uh, busted or having some kind of leak because I kinked them or whatever be the case. So we're replacing those, those are very common. So it goes around the oil filter housing and those do become brittle. I'm replacing the vacuum lines that go from the top of the vacuum canisters all the way to uh, the boost solenoids. Once I got that, I am replacing uh, the braided lines that go from the T's off of the boost solenoids down to each actuator on the wastegate. So I'm getting those. Replacing the both T's as well. And then replacing the main line that goes across that connects everything together. So I have those, all those hoses ordered on their way and I'm gonna replace all of them and show you the DIY on that, how to do that. Very simple. Uh, and then next, I'm going to look at my intake track. I do have the five inch stepped uh, intercooler from Arm Motorsports, so I do have that. I'm gonna be checking that. You know, using stock connections like it is, they are prone to leaking, uh, possibly at high PSI. Yeah, I do wanna test that, because if that's an issue, obviously, then there's my issue. So I want, I want to rule it out, and it'd be a great time to uh, upgrade that intercooler. So we'll look at that. We'll look at the outlets, we'll look at the charge pipe area all the way up. We'll go through this whole entire N54 system and I'll take you guys along for the ride. I'm doing the wheel spacer DIY tomorrow so you'll see how to do how to add wheel spacers on and a little bit more width in the back there and a few other DIYs prior to this one. Lots more to come. Let me know in the comment section below if I need to check anything else that I did not mention and I'll make sure to uh, look over it and to do. All right, guys, thanks for stopping in yet again. Big thumbs up in the video. More stuff to come. Subscribe if you haven't already. And should be a great time. Have a good one. See you.